I want you to welcome Vicky Savitas from Macaulay's class of 2019, representing her fellow graduates today. A little tall. <laughs> Dean Pearl, distinguished guests, and most importantly you, my fellow graduates, congratulations. <laughs> I stand with you today humbled by the opportunities Macaulay has given me and honored to represent the values of a prestigious honors college. As many of you, I come from an immigrant background my roots cultivated in Greece and flowered in New York City. <laughs> Growing up in a bicultural household, language was the bridge that forged my Greek American identity. My parents instilled in me and my brother the Socratic principle, anexetas dos vios u viotos anthropo, the unexamined life is not worth living. Education, both inside and outside of the classroom, is essential for the blossoming of the well-rounded individual. Among my Macaulay peers, I recognize this inherent pathos. We are inspired by the rigorous honors curriculum and are always hungry for the next challenge. In doing so, we do not boast what we have done, but we look for what we can do for our local and global communities. In November, I facilitated a senior lunch with the Mr. William E. Macaulay, thanking him for all of his contributions and admiring the many hats he wears as an entrepreneur, philanthropist, and nature enthusiast. In reflecting on this experience, I realized how we too embody Mr. Macaulay's ambitions through our dual identities. Some might call us superheroes. Think about it. We teleport to our 9 a.m. classes, use magic at Quidditch games, and time travel through upper-level seminars like Whitman's New York, all at our home base, a Gothic bat cave with a bold letter M adorned on its arch. By day, I am an accounting major at Baruch, but by night, I'm the president of the gastronomy club, using my creative powers to make acai bowls for arts night. With the Opportunities Fund, I have flown to Spain, where I fully learned a language that has a special place in mi corazón. In Scotland, as part of the Fulbright Scotland Summer Institute and Future Leaders Program, I shapeshifted into a defense attorney at my first ever mock trial. But a superhero is nothing without a mission. Macaulay encourages us to solve the challenges New York City, our nation, and our world face. As a disability rights activist, I was given the opportunity to pursue a lifelong interest in disability studies through the course, The Politics of Disability, taught by Dr. Elizabeth Reese. Fast forward a year, give a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> Fast forward a year and I presented my honors thesis, Deaf and Detained, the Intersection of Disability and Incarceration at the Northeast Regional Honors Conference in Baltimore. My proudest and humblest moment occurred as I was presenting. A group of students from Gallaudet, the nation's premier university for deaf and hard of hearing students, came into the room with an interpreter. Their reactions to my research validated all of the work I had done to raise awareness about the struggles deaf incarcerated individuals face. My superhero mission is to implement policy change by making silence heard. So the class of 2019, whatever your superhero mission is in this world, wear your Macaulay emblem proudly. While you propel forward at supersonic speed, don't forget to look back. As Batman says, this city needs you. Make it greater than you found it. Thank you.